right, hey there. Um, we're gonna go over the, um, we're starting our unit on circles now. So the first thing that we're gonna do is talk about the equation of a circle, um, because you can graph circles on the coordinate plane here. Um, and this is some of your practice that you will have. So I've kind of gone through and looked at everything and I found the several types of questions that you will have um, about circles. So first we're gonna start off with the formula, the equations here. So the first one is if your circle is centered at the origin. So that means on a graph, okay, the circle, the center of it would be right there in the middle at zero, zero. So it's centered here and it's some distance around it. Okay, so that's x squared plus y squared equals, and then this is the part you would be changing, r squared, and it's very important, it has to be r squared, okay? But r stands for the radius, okay? The radius. And remember the radius is how far it is from the center out to the edge of the circle. So we can have our circle, okay? Here's the center. Your radius is the distance from the center to the edge. So let's say our radius here is three. Okay, R would be three. So if I was to have this circle centered at the origin, okay? So here we're gonna have zero, zero, and our radius is three. Um, I would do x squared plus y squared equals, and then I'll put three and it has to be squared, but I wouldn't leave it like this. I actually have to calculate out what three squared is. So it'd be x squared plus y squared equals nine. So whenever you've got your um, circle and it's centered at the origin, your job is very easy. You just figure out that radius and you square it and then you just put it at the end. Okay, now the other case, which is, this is the one we're gonna be dealing with a lot more, is um, when it is not centered at the origin. So you've got um, a picture, so here's your coordinate plane. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. Okay, let's say your the center of your circle is over here. Okay, you've got it around that point. So since the center of the circle is not at the origin, we have to use this formula. And it's x minus h squared, and the x minus h has to be in parentheses, plus, and then again in parentheses, y minus k squared equals r squared. So there's three pieces in here that you will change when you're writing equations. So you have h, k, and then the r, okay? h and k, they're just stand-ins and they're for your center. So h is the x-coordinate for the center, and k is the y-coordinate for the center. So that's the center of the circle. All right, and this is the x-coordinate. That's h and k is the y-coordinate. And then again, r is still the radius. Okay, so for example, let's say, um, we'll just use our picture here. We'll say that this is at one, two, three, and I'm just getting these numbers. I'm not, you know, I'm just making them up here. Okay, so it's at three, and this can be at negative four, okay? So uh, x goes left to right, so this three would be our h, and then the negative four would be our k, all right? And then their radius, I'm just gonna say maybe it's two, okay? So we'll say for our example here, r is two, and then our center is at three, negative four. That's where this point is, three, negative four. Um, the three is the h, and the negative four is the k. So to write that equation, we would do x minus, and it's always minus, okay? 
x minus, and then we have 3, and then we square it. And then here in the middle, it's always plus, open parentheses, and then now we put y, okay, minus, and what is the y value for that center? It's negative 4. Now be careful, you notice I put minus negative 4. I'm doing that for a reason. Squared again, equals, and then our radius, we said it was 2, so it's 2 squared. And so now what we would do is kind of work out these things here. Um, x minus 3, that's as simple as it gets. I can't change anything in there. So it's x minus 3 squared plus, and now here, you see it's y minus a negative 4. When you have those two negatives right next to each other, remember they become a plus sign. So it's going to become y plus 4 squared equals, and then you have to do 2 squared. And remember, 2 squared means you do 2 and you multiply it by itself again, because that's what squared means. So 2 times 2, which is 4. So if you have your circle over here, its center is at 3, negative 4, okay? And it's got a radius of 2. That's how your equation would come out to be. So now we're going to go through and look at the kinds of problems that we will have. First one here. It says identify the center and the radius of each, then sketch the graph. All right. So this one here, we have x squared plus y squared equals 7, okay? So this guy, it's really here. It's x plus zero squared, or I'm sorry, x minus zero, I apologize. x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared equals, and then it's, um, this is really the radius squared already, okay? So it's still just seven. So x minus zero, y minus zero. Well, look at that. It's centered at zero, zero, the origin, okay? That's how we know, like when we just see x squared plus y squared, this right here, the x minus zero, y minus zero, that's really what's happening, but we don't write it out because, I mean, do you need to know something minus zero? No. So it's just x squared plus y squared. Okay, we know it's centered at the origin. And then here, r squared, seven is equal to r squared, okay? I don't want to go and say that my radius is 7. No, my radius squared is 7. So when you have this, you actually have to take the square root to get the r. So it's going to be square root of 7. That's r. Okay, because to get rid of squaring, we have to square root, remember? So square root 7. So this is going to be a little, <clears throat> a little tricky to graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually calculate here. And then take the square root of 7. And it's 2.64. So it's about 2.64. So we're going to go kind of in the middle of 2 and 3. So here's 2 right there. It's kind of it's a little far over, but that's OK. And then again, we're going to go. So I went straight along the x-axis. And then I'm going to go up about 2 and a half ish back here about two and a half ish or so down here about two and a half ish and so i'm just going like straight on the axes because to measure two and a half like 2.64 going like at an angle you'd have to do a lot more calculations and that just isn't quite the easiest so go um just do them on your axes straight up and down left and right and just kind of you know make a curved line between it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? You get the gist of it. So when you see x squared plus y squared, automatically center is at zero, zero. And then all you need to do is take this number on the very end, and you have to take the square root of it. And that will tell you how far out to go in the four directions, and then you connect it. So x squared plus y squared, you go to the center, the number on the end, you take the square root, and that is your radius. Okay, let's go look at this one. Um, this one, we can tell it's not centered at the origin because we have um, actual numbers right here. Okay, and so now we have to kind of remember what the formula is. It's x minus h squared 
plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So x minus h here. Well, I see x plus 2. Remember how when we were up here and we had y minus negative 4 and it became y plus 4? Same thing going on here. x plus 2, it's really x minus negative 2. So negative 2 is our h. And then here it's y minus 1. Well, the minus we don't care about. Our 1 is k. So h is negative 2 and k is 1. So basically, just kind of remember, when you see a positive sign in the middle there, take that number and just put a negative in front of it. If you see a negative sign, you just take the number that's there, OK? So our center is at negative 2, 1. So start in the middle, go 2 to the left, negative 2, and go up 1, negative 2, 1. That's our center. And then now, 16, that's r squared, OK? This is where people make the most mistakes. They think that 16 is r. Nope. 16 is r squared. If I want just r, I have to take the square root. So take the square root. So the square root of 16 is 4. So my radius is 4. So now I'm going to go to my center and I'm going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's one point on my circle. And then I'm going to count up for 1, 2, 3, 4. There's another point on my circle. Count to the left for 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's another point and count down for one, two, three, four. So those are my four points. And again, like I said, don't try to go diagonally because you're not going to get it in the quite exact correct spot. So just kind of go here and just try your best to make it a little, little curve. It's not going to be perfect, you know, but that's what we have graphing calculators for. But we at least know how to work with what we've got. All right. So that's if you're trying to find the center and the radius, OK? Your center comes from these numbers inside the parentheses, and your radius comes from taking the square root of this last number. All right, next thing. Um, now we're going to kind of give you some information, and then we're going to have you write the equation from that. So they've told us the center is at negative 3, negative 7, and our radius is 5. So we have x minus, and then remember, it's h, k. So x minus negative 3 squared plus y minus negative 7 squared, and then it's going to be equal to 5 squared. So we will go through and simplify this. x minus negative 3 becomes x plus 3. That's got to be in parentheses, and that gets squared. OK, plus. And then y minus negative 7 will become y plus 7 squared. And then 5 squared, that's 5 times 5, so that's 25. So there's the equation of our circle. All right, and then now I have. Um, I made a secondary problem here, 3b. OK, we got the center at 3, negative 2. And then we have our radius is square root 5. So let's go through here. Um, we have our center, that's h, k. So we have x minus an h, OK, so 3 squared plus y minus, and then k is negative 2. And again, squared equals. And now we have to put r squared. So we have to do square root of 5. And anytime we got that square root, we need to put that whole thing in parentheses. And then that gets squared. So now go through and simplify. Um, x minus 3 squared, that's going to stay. Plus, and then here, minus the negative 2, it's going to become y plus 2 squared. And then equals. OK, y'all, if you type the square root of 5, and you put it in parentheses, and you square it. If you type that in your calculator, you're going to come out with 5. And you have to remember, the square root and the square, they like undo each other. So you just get what's inside. So it's just 
satisfied. So there's our equation. All right, next one. Now they've given us the graph, okay? And we have to go from the graph and get to our equation. So this is actually a little bit easier, I think. Um, you're gonna first find this ordered pair, okay? You have to be careful here. Each of these little lines is not counting by one. Uh, two lines is one. So here it's at one, okay? So H is one. And then K is how far uh, up or down it is, but it's down here, so it's down at negative three. So K is negative three. And then now for your radius, you just count, and you have to count on either straight up and down or straight left and right. Go from the center, you count to the edge. I'm gonna count up here, so be careful when you're counting. This is one, that's two. So my radius is two. So now we'll just plug in. We have x minus, and then it's h, so h is one squared, plus y minus, and then our k value, which is negative three squared, and it's equal to two squared. So x minus one squared, that's good to go. y minus negative three becomes y plus three squared. And then two squared is four. And there you go. So this one we've covered um, all the different kinds of problems that you're going to have this week uh, when it comes to circles. So just, you know, if you can remember um, this equation, the x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And just remember that in order to find the radius, you gotta take the square root over here. Um, if you see a plus sign in the middle of the parentheses, that means that the number there is actually negative, okay? Just remember those things and you should be good to go. So go on ahead, complete the practices. Um, I would do one the printed practice and the Khan Academy ones that we have posted. If you do all four of those, they will really prepare you because each of them kind of focuses on um, a different section of what we've been covering. So do those and then do the quizzes. Make sure you take those pictures and that you're using your first and last names on them um, and you'll be good. I'll see you later.